morning. It's the last day at Lake Mead. And we're just about to leave for Vegas. It should be good. We're going, we're going down the strip. We've all seen it in films. It would be good to see it in person, I think. Um, so we're going to do some shopping. Walk around, see, see Vegas and the strip and all that. Uh, so it should be good. But quite a relaxed day. Next RV camp is in Vegas and it's it's like half an hour of drive, something like that. So quite relaxed, which would be nice after frantic week or so. And so we'll see you in Vegas. Possibly the most complicated route to a shopping mall we've ever been on. So then, when we eventually arrived, absolutely nowhere to park whatsoever that we could see. Well, nothing. It was a multi story. Can't get in a multi story in an RV. It was a fiasco. So, guess what we're doing? We're going back to the RV park. <laughs> There's a restaurant nearby, so we might go and, I might go and have a steak. I don't know. But anyway, what an absolute waste of time that was. An hour to get here, should have been 20 minutes, and then all over the place, even with GPS, madness. Right, we're back at the RV camp. What a disaster. I've never, ever driven anywhere as complicated as this. And I don't think it's Vegas, I think it's just America and if you're in a big city it's just it's just ridiculous can't believe it 90 minutes there and back and it's like five miles anyway we're at the RV park it's quite nice actually some trees here and there's our RV there's Harvey and uh, it's quite nice sit here in the shade maybe we've nicknamed it Jurassic Park because this it was earlier loads of birds and they were making really weird noises that sounded like Jurassic Park anyway we're here now we're gonna walk across I don't know if you can see over there there's a casino we're gonna walk across there and get some lunch I'll see you there.